Oh, well, hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. We're here, here with Petra and Charon, who are apparently now able to hunt the newborn baby ungulates. Now, we're not going to do that right now. We are actually going to sleep through the night here. Uh, we do, we will want to take advantage of that though. Oh boy, that one's starting to fade. I think we've lost some territory up here too. This is going to be difficult uh, to keep away from Crevice Lake up there. But all in all, I think things are still going all right. How heavy are the pups right now? Okay, they're definitely getting close. Phoenix is the smallest, and she's at 13.7. So they're getting pretty close. But we're going to go sleep again and uh, catch up with these guys in the morning. Okay, here we are. First things first. Oh, we are going to have to look for rendezvous sites. Uh, let's actually check on the goodness. The only thing with a big territory is that it's hard to find sites. Okay, I kind of want to like, or it's hard to hard to maintain it. Um, I kind of want to look at this rendezvous site because I'm thinking that might be a good place to go. It'll make us a little bit more central. It'll let us fully expand and get a little bit away from Crevice Lake. But first things first, we're itching. Let's woof the pups back in the den just in case something's showing up. I think Petra is very much looking forward to leaving for the rendezvous site because uh, it's definitely... They're getting pretty itchy. She's very ready to be away from the eagles. Still quite upset about what happened last time, I think. But let's run down. We'll take a look at this. We might not need... Or, you know. Let's have Charon come with us. We will actually go and get some... Uh, get some of the food from over here that we have at this carcass. And then we'll send him back and, I think, do some territory marking on our own for a bit and investigate that rendezvous site just so that we know where we're going. Oh, there's a mule deer there. But let's go this way. Oop. What is this? That's a coyote. Okay. I thought that was something I could eat. It was not. I'm disappointed. Here we are. Okay. There's still a little bit left. I'm going to let him eat most of that because we can find more food along the way. It won't be as big of a deal for Petra to do that. But as long as he's got enough to eat, in fact, we might actually be okay because he wasn't that hungry. We might be able to eat here too. Uh, as long as he's got enough to be able to take back, feed the pups, not be not be super hungry himself. Did he? He's up to full now. All right, we'll actually send him back then. And oops, this is not what I wanted to look at. I wanted to look here because we do want to. I'll probably run up and mark that 40, and then we will we will go the other way. Oh, can you go back home? Oh, there's, he's chasing the coyotes. Oh my goodness, the scratching. It's so bad. All right, I'm very ready to not um, not be dealing with this, but I think he's heading back. So we will eat as well, and then we will circle around, mark some territory, and check out that rendezvous site. Oh, there's a baby in this grass. I don't know that we particularly need it. Oh, it's a mule deer, I think, as well. Very, very small little one. But uh, I just ran up here to mark this territory, which will just reinforce really quick. That should prevent these stranger wolves from easily taking it over. We are scratching again. Oh my goodness. Petra has a high flea load tolerance, but that might change if this keeps up. Okay, we want to mark some of this. I'm going to ignore this territory for now. I don't think Petra is super happy about it. Oof, that there's that's down to a 42 as well. Um... But I mostly just want to focus on marking those, and then maybe we'll head up that way and mark some territory there, too. Maybe we'll bring this back for the pups and or Charon uh, on the way, because it's not too far off from our den. Alright, Charon and the pups are all over here. Let's go ahead, we'll drop this for them now that they can eat it, and then we'll just keep going, because we don't need to stick around here very long. I think we just want to run down and see this rendezvous site. Now it should be, we're headed pretty much exactly towards it, I think. So we should hopefully be able to find it soon. Is this, this isn't the same one that Moxie had, is it? We are kind of near that den. Uh, it may actually be the same one Moxie had, now that I think of it. Oh, I'm pretty sure it is. It's right down here on this hill. This might be not a bad option for them, not gonna lie. Because this is... This is a... It is a pretty, pretty decent rendezvous site. You can see quite... Well, it is kind of on the slopes, though, but uh, it might not be a bad option. Where exactly? If I can find where it actually is. Oh, it's a little further this way. Is it? It's right up here. Okay. That's right. It's very close to where Moxie had her territory. So this is one of the options. I don't want to take that one because that one's really close to Crevice Lake up there. 
and I don't think Petra will easily be able to enforce her territory there. The other options would be this one or this one. This one might be the better one. We can check that one out as well and uh, just see. I'm just going to make sure we mark these two hexes before we do it. Oh, this is a familiar rendezvous site if you've, uh, if you've been following the Elements Pack series. So this is the other one that's over here, which is maybe not a bad option. Uh, I did really like this rendezvous site. There's also the one that's down here by the creek. I'm trying to think. I almost... Well, Petra doesn't really like water, though. So I'm not sure if she would like this here either. She's nervous about her puppies being around water, so I don't know if she actually would choose this site. I think we're going to run a little further. I wonder if the affinity actually matters all that much when the maid is home with the pups, because they're already hanging out outside the den with him anyway. Oh, there's more bison. There's just bison everywhere for some reason. Uh, let's see if we can... Um, we'll put our scent post here, I think. Kind of rearranging where some of these are. Oh my goodness, stop itching! Oh my goodness, the itching is insane. I am... I am losing my mind. I think... I think Petra might be getting a little tired of... Um, of all of this scratching. There's an elk herd over here. But what I wanted to look for is there's one more rendezvous site up here that I'm curious about. It is quite far away. It would give us a nice place to expand our territory, though, which I think is part of what it's appealing. Uh, we wouldn't quite be able to expand it out all the way up here. Or would we, actually? Oh, we would! Uh, no, not quite. We'd be still be able to go most of the way, though. It'd be a little bit further, though, from the Stranger Wolf packs. So this might be a good one if it's not, like, super near water the way the other one was. So let's look up here. And I think, is this it? Looks like it could be. Are we right on top of it? Yes, so this is the rendezvous site. It's actually got a lot of clear, open grass around it. And it's got not bad visibility either. There are some hills that can make it a little tricky to see. I think we might head for this rendezvous site. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll put a marker. Um, uh, we'll go ahead and put that there. And then this is going to be quite the journey for the pups. But I think it's uh, I think it's one that makes sense. I think it's one that will be for the best. We will want to make sure we buff up the territory. Oh, I guess that's just part of the grass moving. I thought I saw something running around and I was like, the heck? Um, but yeah, I think we're going to get ready for a very, very long journey here. And there's a, there's a whole den nearby that we haven't found. That's interesting. Oh, I know. Yeah, it would be this one, huh? Yep, yeah, this has got to be it. Okay, well, I guess we hadn't discovered this one. But yeah, I think we're just going to try. And, and Petra's not overly concerned about moving with the pups once they're big enough to not get taken by the eagles. So I think we're just going to wait for that and then set out. All right, here we are. We are back at the den where Charon is keeping an eye on the pups. He's doing a good job. Uh, I think this is one of the first times we've left him a home with them. Well, maybe not the first, but most of them are out in the open, I think. Oh, no, Flint is over there. I see him now. Let's just bring him back closer to the others just to kind of keep him nearby. Oh, Flint wanted to hang out with his dad. That's so sweet. And Valor is leaving. Oh my goodness, Valor, please. Oh, he he's going to the, the mule deer fawn. All right, we'll bring that back over here um, so that these guys are a little closer. But we're going to go ahead. We will take a nap. And hopefully when we're done scratching uh, by morning, Phoenix is the smallest at 14.3. So hopefully we'll be ready to head out and start the journey because I think Petra is, Petra is very ready for it at the least. Oh. Oh dear. No, 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 no. Nope, y'all go in the den. Y'all go in the den. I see him out there. I see him out there. I think that's coyotes. I don't know if they're actually heading this way or not. But... They'd better not be. They might have gone the other way, actually. That's hair. Go ahead. Oh, no, you were here. Okay, yeah, no, leave. Be gone. Oh, my goodness, the scratching. What are we at? 85%. Holy cow. 
Oh, that's painful. All right. Nope. Y'all leave. Get out. Be gone. Be gone. Stay away. All right. Oh my goodness, that's scratching. No! I'm suffering. All right, we're going to go back this way. It's been a bit since we've had a predator attack, so that's why I'm feeling a bit jumpy. And we want to keep an eye out for eagles, of course, because those are the biggest threat to the pups here. So let's call them back out. We'll let them eat a little bit. And then I don't think it should be too much longer before we're ready. How is our territory looking? Ooh, it's falling apart just a little bit. Uh, we're gonna have to fight. I think it was, I think it's Crevice Lake is taking over some of our turf as well. Uh, that's kind of to be expected with the way the situation is currently, but we definitely need to be mindful of that as we're gonna be setting out on the journey. And Phoenix is up to 14.9, so she should be ready pretty soon, I'd hope. Uh, as I'm hoping we'll be ready to leave here in just a little bit. I don't want to wait too much longer before we have to go. Oh, perfect. All right, then. So, yeah, that's perfect timing. And we do want to raise the affinity. Ooh, because it is uh, very low relative to the... Very low level relative to the level we need for them to stay in the grass. Now, I did have realized the mates can let your pups out. Ooh, and that was, that was good timing because apparently there's an... Oh no, those are ravens, okay. It's like there's an eagle right here, what the heck? Um, but yeah, uh, that was probably pretty good timing, all things considered. Um, and uh, we'll take a look at the lanky babies a little bit closer at the rendezvous site. Those are deer, holy smokes. I just looked up, I was like, there's wolves right there. Why is it that I always mistake the deer for wolves? This is a running theme with me. They just kind of are similar in looks. But I want to raise the affinity a little bit before we keep moving. Oh. Hmm. Maybe let's go in the... Go in the go in the grass for a sec. Valor's right there. Um, let's have everybody go over here. I just want the deer to leave. <laughs> I don't know if mule deer ever trample your pups, but I know the other prey animals can. So I'm just a little cautious of that. There's more deer. There's so many deer. Holy smokes. All right. I think we're fine. Let's uh, let's call these guys back out in the open. We do want to get the affinity up even further because we've got a heck of a journey ahead of us. But I think our best chance is just to start moving because we're going to make it all the way over here. We'll probably try to stop somewhere in this area so that we can steal back that territory. And I think we just better set out and get as far as we can. I doubt we'll be able to make it in one day. <laughs> the pups are going to be almost grown up by the time that we actually make it over there. Goodness. Ooh, we might have a stream crossing coming up. Oh, okay, we're going back for a sec. We always, when we hear the music, we always got to pull back. Because whenever we could have the potential there being a baby, we need to make sure we're not hiding ours in the same grass patch. There's Flint. It's like, why do I only see four? Oh, there's a whole elk herd up there, too. All right, now is a good time to scout what's ahead and look around, see if we can find where the mama is, whoever's baby is around here. Because if this is an elk mother and our babies go through the grass patch or go too close, okay, this is a mule deer mama. So it might not be so bad. I don't know. I don't know if the mule deer attack at you. I've never had them do it, but it can take you by surprise. Okay, this is the, this is the creek. So we might actually, want, or not the creek, this is the pond. We might actually want to veer by above it, not to the rendezvous site. Oh no, this is a different pond actually. Yeah, because Petra really doesn't want the pups falling in the water. There's also a whole elk herd over here. So we might want to uh, might want to go around that, go up and over, so that we don't risk uh, having to take our puppies through the water. Because that's really not... Oh, it's really not something that Petra wants. Is this the ba mule deer baby? That is. All right. We should be clear to pass through here now. Let's just bring this back. Let our babies eat. Let Charon eat. Let Petra eat. And then we'll keep it moving here. Oh, that's no good. Okay, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna move the pups in the grass because I see coyotes in the distance. Flint, don't go toward the coyotes, maybe. Uh, these two have gone in the other grass. All right. We're gonna run these heckers off. They're, they're actually heading away, but I do see them lurking, so they could be a problem for us in the future. Do they go up this way? Yeah, get out. Get out. Very far away. Very far away. Be gone. 
All right, we're gonna chase him on ahead. Now we're just gonna circle up around. Heron, what you doing, bud? Is he marking territory or something or trying to hunt? Is he looking for, is there a baby somewhere around here? Oh, maybe, no, maybe, I guess there's not. All right, he was just kind of wandering, I think. We're gonna keep going, we're gonna get a little closer, and then once we are, once we're a little bit closer to that one territory so we don't have to worry as much about the, uh, the puppies being super far away when we, and running out of affinity, we're gonna go reclaim that one hex, and then we'll, we'll work on buffing up our territory even more so once, uh, once we're further. Is that all five? That is all five. Okay, we're good. We've got bison on the hill, so I'm going to avoid them. We're going to go over this way and make sure that we are not running through their mids because they will attack your pups. <laughs> I know that much. They have no qualms about going after even an adult wolf, so we don't want to be anywhere near them. I do hear howling, too, and I think, is that? No, that's not a rendezvous site. There's a few that are near here but not the one we're looking for. The one we're looking for is actually, I think, far enough away that we can't even officially see it yet, but it's marked by that little diamond on our compass, so that's how I know we're heading the right way. That, and I keep checking against the, um, I keep checking it against, oh, there's another mule deer, uh, against the map as well. So let's go up here. We will probably stop at this grass patch up this way. And then we will woof everybody here. And this is where I think we'll run on ahead maybe to reclaim that territory. Because it looks like it's fairly buffed up by Crevice Lake now. All right, two puppies. Oh, goodness, some of them are kind of far away. I definitely think Petra pays less close attention to the pups on the journey than a lot of our wolves have. Like, not that she doesn't pay attention to them, but I think she's a little bit more chill about... Like, she's not, she's not as overly freaked out. Okay, Valor. How are they doing on sleep, too? They're getting tired. So, let's bring Valor over there. Come here. You need to go in the grass as well, because both of us are gonna actually leave here. Alright, grass time. There we go. Alright, you, Caron, let's go ahead. I'm not trying to socialize. I'm trying to trying to call you over here so that we can run, because this is up to 79%. Alright, we're going to mark both of these hexes as well. I'm just going to move the scent posts here because I think this is... Well, I'm not actually sure if that's going to be the most convenient or not. But this will probably be more convenient. I don't know. There's constant constant rearranging of scent posts into what makes the most sense to mark. But this should at least boost them up to full. And then what I really want to make sure we do is uh, go over here and then reclaim this and that's so we can see where we left our pups. We probably could have gotten them even closer, but this way if we do end up skirmishing with stranger wolves and have to fall back, the puppies aren't right there. So right up ahead though should be stranger wolf territory that should be our territory and that we're gonna have to cross right through to get to the rendezvous site. All right, this, yeah, this was definitely ours because look at where the scent post is placed. It seems like they claimed right over it and put their own there. Ooh, and we've got a plastic cooler. Oh, what are you guys doing here? Yeah, crevice, or, yeah, this is crevice lake. Leave us alone. You guys can, can back the heck off. All right, this is going to actually be a significant fight, perhaps. All right, we've got to, oh my goodness, there's so many on me at all times. That's the problem with having multiple wolves, is you get just absolutely jumped on. <laughs> uh, let's try and do some damage. Actually, 3M is probably not the most damaged it looks like let's see about you generally the best way to handle a fight is to go for the most damaged wolf yeah that'll be you 1f all right you are pretty low so whoever's the most damaged is the one that you generally want to attack because that get off get off oh my goodness i've got two but yeah, that's the general tactic, because that's the wolf that's most likely to get scared quickly. <laughs> and then a scared wolf will run away. And you can see she is getting pretty freaked out now that Petra keeps going after her, because she's fairly low on health. Not stopping her from biting me, but... Um, Alright, we just want to make sure that we have the chance to let our stamina regen. And then she's chasing Charon now. No, I've got this Hecker on me is the problem. All right, we should be able to run in and get a good bite here. We're gonna get pulled off, but as long as we can maintain some stamina, 
yeah, there we go. You can see that she is starting to get more, um, more skittish or more scared. You can see that flight meter is going up. So the more, more damage she takes, the more that'll continue to happen. Oh, goodness. Now, the problem is Petra's stamina is already not high. <laughs> um, but this one is getting fairly scared, so I think we'll be all right. We just need to actually... Oh, my goodness. We got a bite and then immediately got kicked off. Oh, my goodness. We've gotten bitten off twice. That's just... No. Let me bite, you heckers. <laughs> Let me bite. All right. We can do some growls as well to make sure we continue to scare them. And then we just got to let our stamina go back up. I apologize for the spinning. Oh, nope. We got jumped instead. All right. How's Charon doing on health? He's doing all right. We're going to get a bite here. Oh, yeah. Uh, nope. We got attacked again. They're both doing okay on health at the moment. Oh, you, however, are not. And Petra does not take heck from, uh, she does not take heck from stranger wolves. Oh, my goodness. Stupid stamina, though, is a problem. All right. You better run. If you don't run when it's time, Petro's not going to have any qualms about taking you out. <laughs> she's not, like, out to kill, I don't think. She, but she's not averse to it either. And that's what's going to be the most effective here. Although, we, again, the problem is we just don't have the stamina for a bite. All right, we need to fall back a little bit. Karen's getting a little bit hurt, actually. All right, let's get off of me. All right, no. You leave my mate alone. Leave my mate alone. We're going to get bitten off very quickly, though. All right, no. Oh, we're out of stamina again. All right, I'm actually a little worried about Charon here. Slightly. I mean, I think he'll be okay. He's not, like, severely wounded yet. But uh, we definitely need this fight to be over now. <laughs> definitely need this fight to be over now. And I don't have the stamina to finish it is the problem. Oh my goodness, you fools, get off of me. The puppies are going to start leaving is the other thing. We don't really have time for this shenaniganizing. And we need... Here, I'm going to run this way for a minute. Charon's still in the thick of things. I just need more stamina. Y'all better run. Now get off. Excuse you. I did not ever uh, slow down in this point. All right, there we go. We can get some bites in. You better start to get darn scared. You are hurt. <laughs> you had better not. You had better not keep up with this. Yeah, you better run. All right, now we can finally reclaim this dang territory and then get back to the pups. Holy cow. That was more intense than I was hoping it was going to be, not going to lie. All right, we need... Oh, and they've changed the Stranger Wolf scent shape, apparently. I was noticing that. <laughs> so now it's diamonds instead of triangles. Now they're, like, more circular shaped. But we really need to get back to the pups. All right, this is the edge of our territory. I want to put the scent post right here for now. We need to do a couple howls. Goodness. This did hurt. They did get kind of hurt doing that. <laughs> I was hoping they would not. All right, we got to keep howling. Y'all better not be coming back for more. I swear, if that's what you're doing, okay. We need to make sure that we get this boosted up a little bit. 1F or 4F. Oh, 4F was really hurt too, man. Charon, Charon hurt her quite a lot, didn't... Yeah, my goodness. I don't think she was that injured. I think Charon took a couple good bites out of her by the look of it. All right, are we headed back towards our pups? They're more in this direction. We've got to move it because the affinity is getting quite low. And that's not going to be ideal for this. Okay, I see him. But we probably actually want to rest up here if we can. I think this will be... This will be a little bit better. How are we doing on food? Not the most ideal, but I think it's going to be okay as long as we sleep right away. Because these guys are... Oh, they've been sleeping. Okay. Well, maybe we can keep traveling a little bit then. Let's call them out into the open. I don't think we should have to fight anything super major at the moment because we just fought Stranger Wolves. So if we can keep going here, Flint, my goodness, bud. Sir? Sir? Please do not wander very far away. All right, we're going to howl a couple of times just to bring the affinity up a little bit farther. And then we're going to keep moving. As long as the pups have energy, I want to keep moving because if we can get to the rendezvous site today, that'd be good. Okay, there is, I think that's a mule deer. No, Valor, Valor, Valor. Oh, gosh dang it. I was hoping he wouldn't be in that one. 
I wanted them all in the same one. But there is a mule deer mama around here. And considering that Charon's kind of hungry, I think we're going to actually go ahead and look for the baby. In fact, we might actually hunt the mother here. How much? Well, Charon's on 40% health. Petra's on 54% health. Might not be bad. We might be able to do... Nah, I don't think we necessarily need to, though. I think we can... As long as we get him some food so that he'll be able to heal, then we should be okay, I think. We just need to find where this baby is. Okay, I can't find the baby, so we're just gonna take down the mom. I think, um... Oops, that was the wrong howl. If we do this... Alright, there he comes. Alright, we're just gonna take down the mom, because she's a mule deer. She should be fine, and as long as we're careful, we it shouldn't be too hard. All right, let's go here. Oof, we got Crevice, or we, yeah, Crevice Lake is nearby. All right, there we go. Ow. Okay, there we go. Charon's in on this. Between the two of them, oh, but the problem is our stamina is really low too. All right, we might not actually be able to do this, darn it. All right, we'll see. Ow. But she is a mule deer, so it might be fine. Oh my goodness, the stupid stamina. That's the most difficult part of all of this. All right, stop it. All right, as long as we're cautious, but she's not like, okay, that did more damage to us than it did to her. Okay, we might actually not want to do this. We'll see. All right, nine and nine. How's our health holding up? We're on 41, he's on 31. Okay, maybe we're not gonna be able to do this. All right, let's just see if we can, no, we're still not gonna find the baby either. So I guess we'll just sleep then. Darn it, I was hoping we'd find more food to heal up with, but oh well. Um, let's keep everybody, unless it's, unless it's the one behind us. It shouldn't be. No, it's not. No, I don't think it is. All right, we're just going to sleep. We're just going to sleep and heal up as much as we can, because I think that'll be better. Nope, it's not that one either. Okay. Let's sleep. Yeah, it's not, it's not in with the puppies anywhere. All right, we'll go ahead and rest. All right, it is daytime again. I do not want the pups to leave the grass because I highly suspect something's going to come after them. Just because we haven't seen it yet doesn't mean it's not out there. Now, Charon didn't heal all the way. I was hoping he would. That was why I wanted to bring down a mule deer. Okay, maybe we're all right. Yeah, I guess we'll call the pups out and keep moving. Um... We're just going to keep heading this way. We do need to find more food for Charon soon because we want to make sure he heals. But other than that, I think I guess the best option is just keep going in the right direction and keep an eye out for anything along the way. Hello, Valor. Is everybody else following us? Yes. Okay, we're good. Okay, there is another mule deer here. She's right over there. And I think we're going to go for her this time because Charon is healthier. We still don't have a lot of stamina. Or, well, we have stamina now, finally. Um, but we still don't have a lot of affinity. But I think this is going to be fine. Because uh, we have quite a bit of health now as well. So I think we should just be able to take her down. I think that was half the problem is we were both low on health, low on food, or low on affinity, low on stamina. As long as we're quick about this... We should be able to bring her down, and then we can actually probably bring the pups right over here to let them eat. But I'm going to have Petra run in. Yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll get a neck bite. Now we should actually be able to uh, to attack. Nope, you're not running now. Charon is going to help with this. All right, we'll get some good bites. And then we can just bring the pups right over to this carcass, I think. And there we go. This is more like it when we're not super low for right from the start. It's a lot easier to do a hunt. Oops, now we're low on stamina. Yeah, we shouldn't be this low on stamina. All right. Is your baby in this grass? Oh, your baby is in this grass. That's what you're defending. Okay, well, we'll have snacks for everyone involved, I guess. Um, nope, there we go. And we can just bring the pups right over here. Ooh, there we go. Whoa. Once our stamina comes back, no, stamina, need more stamina. There we go. All right, let's mark this. We'll let Charon eat. I'm going to head right back. I'll go grab that baby and then we'll bring our babies over here. Let them eat as well. Uh, give them a nice, good snack. All right, there we go. Sorry, little one, but we need food. <laughs> and where did we put that carcass? Right here. Um, We need food. 
Our babies need food. Hopefully Charon will eat as well. I'm just going to call these guys out. Uh, we'll call them over. And we'll bring them right up here so that they can eat too. I think they can even eat off the big carcasses now since we've brought one down. And then... Can I see something approaching from over here? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think it was just a stump. Are they on their way? Guys, come here. Guys, come here. Come over here, please. Come over this way, please. There we go. Now they're heading in the right direction. And we've got food right over here for them. Okay, we've got everybody over here. We'll see. I'm curious if they'll actually eat off of the mule deer carcass. Oh yeah, it looks like Valor's gone right to it. So yeah, they'll just eat off the normal carcasses as well at this point. Which is good, because they're hungry, and we're hungry, and everybody's hungry. And I hope there is... You know, wait. I did just hear... I do hear coyotes. Let's go into the grass here. Let's go into the grass here. Because I do hear coyotes somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Are they around here somewhere? Better not be lurking by my babies. Oh, there's another... There's another... There's somewhere else is another... Oh, goodness. Everest just did not go back. Oh, Everest wanted more food, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna call these guys back. I do wish you could, like, drag carcasses just a short ways. Because, like, you could grab a mule deer by the leg and haul it a little ways. I mean, I guess that probably would be a lot of work and it would be kind of hard to add in and... Oh, the dough is already almost done. It'd probably be a, It might be a little bit too much to add, but it would be cool if it worked. <laughs> that at least would be cool. Guys, where are you going? Let's maybe not go all the way over there. Who still needs food? Some of you guys still need food. Onk still needs food. All right, we're gonna we're gonna play with these guys too. Try to raise some affinity because I'm gonna go looking for that other baby possibly as well. Um, Flint is eating. We just want to make sure that these guys have a good amount of food before we do that, and then hopefully we'll be pretty close to making it to the rendezvous site. Onks, come eat. Come eat your food. <laughs> Why? Why won't you eat? I guess, okay, here. There, Phoenix is gonna eat. How is... Okay, Charon's pretty full on food as well. I don't like all that howling that's happening either. Do not appreciate it. Really do not. Genuinely don't. Charon's keeping an eye on him. And I think we'll just drop him off in that grass patch over there. And then... We should be able to... Okay, is there still... There's still some food here. I'm just going to finish this. And then we'll go over here. And then we'll woof these guys in the grass. There we go. Let's go in the grass. Oh, what the frick? Cougars can attack you on the journey? That's never happened before. Well, Petra does have a hostility towards cougars. Where the heck is this hacker? Hello? I don't even see this fool. Where in the world? Oh, I have never had this happen before. I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> oh, right over here. Nah, you get the heck out. Petra's got no qualms about just biting you. No. Be gone. Get away. Get away. Why aren't you scared? You should be. You should be darn scared of us. No, get out. Get out! You ain't taking my babies! Alright. Now... This got taken. A lot of this got taken. Um, I'm just gonna look around for more food. We're gonna definitely have to buff up the territory. I don't think Petra likes how close, or how, how close to enemy territory uh, her pups are gonna be. She's definitely gonna want to spend a lot of time buffing up the territory when she gets to the other side. But for now, she's just gonna spend some time looking for wherever this baby is. Oh, here we go. There's also a whole actual elk herd somewhere. Now, I don't know where the mama is. Was that her? It might be. Well, whatever the case is. Oh, we got the elk quest done. Let's bring this back for our babies, and then we'll let them eat, and we'll continue on the journey. Oh, what is that music? That's not good music. No, what the heck? Oh, what the heck, Valor? Hurry into the grass, please. Hurry into the grass, please. Okay, so we've got stranger wolves attacking us now, too. This is great. Uh, Charon is not full on health. That's great. 
Um, and there's elk music. That was what originally scared me. Oh yeah, I see that there is an elk herd right up there. Um, where are these stranger wolves? Did, has Charon found them? Nope. Oh, there's one right here. It's you. Do you want to get bitten? Because I will bite you as soon as I'm allowed to. <laughs> Crevice Lake 1M. You know what? No, we're not doing this today. You are gonna get your butt handed to you because you do not get to uh you do not get to do this. All right, we're gonna make sure the pups stay in the grass. Oh, you think you're sticking around, do you? Yeah, you're not. Oh, you're not. You're gonna get one last bite for the road. Honestly, I think Petra was just tempted <laughs> to just beat the living snot out of this guy. <laughs> She's not in the mood for this right now. She's really not. Uh, she's definitely gotten to be a little bit of a, I don't know what the word would be, snippy, ag aggressive in a sense. She, she does not, she does not put up with anything threatening her pups. She's lost one pup already and she's not about to lose any more. So we're going to go around these elk because they will not give us a good time if we get too close to them. And that is a bull elk herd. So they're going to potentially do quite a lot of harm if they get too close to our pups but fortunately the rendezvous site is just right over this way so i don't think we'll have to go that much further what hold on hold on hold on okay um somebody's gotten separated where's the nearest grass patch all right right over here right over here we're gonna walk everybody to the grass and then we're gonna retrace our steps everybody else go in the grass please everyone else go in the grass please that includes you valor that includes you Nope, Valor, where are you going, bud? Okay, we're gonna, we gotta, if we're running around with a bunch of other pups, y'all, grass time, please. Guys, I know you're tired. Oh, good job, Charon, oh my goodness. Oh, good job, bud. I was just about to head back and see, because I figure if we followed our trail, oh, Charon. Y'all, that is some character development. He went from being one of the most uncertain dads I've ever seen to now he... Look at how much... Look at how good he's got at this. Oh, I love him, y'all. I think Petra is very, very relieved. We will go ahead. We will uh, give him a good nose sniff here as a thank you for that because... I think she was pretty worried. She was just had too many puppies running in every direction to be able to go right back then. Because the thing is, if we had done that and we had more pups scattering and something attacked, it would have gotten a lot worse uh, very, very quickly. So, yeah, uh, this was for the best. But we're not going to let these guys sleep right now. Y'all got to keep moving. Um, because the rendezvous site is just up ahead. It's actually right over here. I can see it. So we're not going to let them sleep yet. Uh, we need to get back to the rendezvous site. We'll maybe walk a little slower so that they can keep up more easily. But the rendezvous site's right here. There's no sense sleeping right outside of it and waiting to get to it. It's just this. It's, it's just this right here. Oh my goodness, what a journey this has been, too. It has it has been a bit of a time. Okay, I think we're all right here. Let's, let's un uncrouch ourselves there and then head in this direction. Is Karen coming? I'm sure he'll follow us. Yeah, we're, they're getting here. They're getting here. But this is the rendezvous site. And once the puppies get here, there we go. We're going to go ahead and choose this as a rendezvous site. And I think we're going to call it just Woodland Meadow. I will not use Overlook this time, but it is kind of a Woodland Meadow. Oh, we got the long distance traveler achievement to travel two kilometers or more to a rendezvous site. You reach your rendezvous site, we will spend the summer with your pups. So that was a heck of a long journey. Uh, but now I just got to chill out here for the summer, which will probably not be too, too much longer, cons all things considered. Pups are at 16 to 17 pounds, so uh, it probably won't be too much longer before they end up growing up. But let's send these guys to the grass here. Y'all. Y'all, come on. No, on Onyx. You're not allowed to be over here. We have to sleep in the grass. It is the rule. It is the rule. I know, I think Petra is learning the value of rules as well, despite not following them very well when she was a pup. Uh, but with that said, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this up here for today because it is getting to be about time again. And these guys need to take a much deserved nap. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay over and out.